Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at another of these Beasts of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series figures. However, this is the first time we've had a chance to take a look at something entirely different in a way from the rest of the line, because this is just a glow-in-the-dark figure, and this is obviously a throwback to those kind of old-school vintage glow-in-the-dark dinosaur figures that uh, most of you probably had. If you're around my age, you've definitely had them. It's something that we as children had plenty of, but, you know, maybe some of the newer viewers out there, the younger viewers, may not have experienced the glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs, but it's definitely something that I personally had, so I, of course, was drawn to this immediately because I thought it was a really, really cool idea on the part of David Silva, and something I was extremely excited about, even though I already do have the Zuniceratops, because that is the species we are taking a look at quite clearly, you can see on the box, we do have the painted Zuniceratops, and now there's this glow-in-the-dark version. The box also looks really cool. It's very different than the rest of the boxes, of course, sporting that window look, but the overall appearance to the box is very different in comparison to the previous ones and then if we turn it around actually if we take a look over here on the side we can see the greenish one which we are taking a look at right now which is a creative beast studio website exclusive and then there's the orange version which we have a better look at back here on the back and you can see here on the back again showing the two different versions of the glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs which I have yet to actually get the toy pizza version you can see that the orange version is an exclusive to toypizza.com and again the greenish version is exclusive to the creative beast studio website but I also love the artwork here on the back as it has that super old-school vintage kind of a dinosaur look with the uh, volcanoes going off in the background like that's awesome so vintage if you ask me and then again a image up here just kind of showing the dinosaurs glowing in the dark and stating that they are both sold separately so I'm really psyched to take a look at this one let's go ahead and break it out of the box right now so as usual as far as these figures go we have the tail assembly instructions which is definitely something that if you're new to these figures you want to check out because you don't want to damage your figure by just kind of trying to jam the tail in there we also actually get a and it's upside down we get a card which i did not realize we were getting i didn't know that they actually had that kind of collectible card in the glow in the dark figures as well you can see our version which we have right now right here the greenish version but if we flip it over we now have the orange version as well i definitely want to get this because it'll be the only one that i have not purchased of the ceratopsian series when it's complete i do want to have this one as well to have the complete set and then we have this really cool kind of a poster here just giving creative beast studio a little bit of a plug here as far as the incredible beasts of the mesozoic line showing just tons of really nice looking figures from both the raptor series and the ceratopsian series and kind of you can see you could sort of take that as a sneak peek of the tyrannosaurus series a little bit right there but if we turn it around we have this absolutely awesome and super vintage looking kind of a backdrop right here which i really really love we have bioluminescent falls back there we even have something that states that the microorganisms in the water give dinos their glow and then over here on the side it states populate the island with the whole nights of the slice toy line which is really cool as well so a nice extra addition to this set that you don't normally get with the Ceratopsian series figures. And then here is our glow-in-the-dark Zuni Ceratops right here before us. And how incredibly cool does that look? Again, it looks perfect as far as that kind of glow-in-the-dark dinosaur that I grew up with playing with. Of course, way better in a detailing and sculpt aspect than what I played with as a child, but... The actual coloration 100% looks just like the figures that I used to play with as a child looked like. But again, being the Zuni Ceratops, that was actually one of my favorites, I would say, from Wave 1 of the Ceratopsian series. It's such a gorgeous sculpt, and it's nice to see kind of a reused, re-released version of it with this glow-in-the-dark look, which I'm really excited to actually check out. But before we go ahead and do that, we're going to get a closer look at this right now. So taking a look at our Zuni Ceratops, we don't really need to go over the sculpt. We have actually reviewed the sculpt in the initial Zuni Ceratops review. So if you'd like to see a more detailed review of the actual sculpt of this figure, make sure you check out my initial 
beast of the Mesozoic Zuniceratops review. But as far as what is new, which is basically what we need to go over with this one, we have, again, a really nice greenish color on the majority of the upper side of the figure. But it's like a really kind of a light green, like you can see right here. It does cut off right here in the elbow and knee area. And then you can also see a transition, of course, to the underbelly right there. But again, sporting that really cool light green that is definitely a color that I saw quite often on the glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs that I had growing up. You can also see a transition to that clear coloration, that translucent type of a look here at the tip of the tail. But then he's also dry brushed this darker green over top of a lot of the areas here on the side. You can see it kind of elaborating some of the scale detail, and it just gets darker and darker as we get up to the top into the back and spinal column of our Zuni Ceratops. So you can see that again, even in just a kind of a really cool glow-in-the-dark figure, they've done a good job of elaborating the detail as usual and making sure that you know that the actual sculpt is phenomenal. You can also see more of that green dry brushing up here in the face area, kind of right around the horns right here. You can also see it running down at the tip of the upper part of the beak, down here, also along the frill in certain areas. So that's pretty much it as far as the greenish color, and then it transitions to this light kind of a clear or translucent, however you want to term it, type of a coloration. And then you have that on the legs and the underbelly, as well as the tip of the tail, and then of course the lower jaw. You do also have a black eye right there, but that's it as far as the coloration of the eye. And then once you get inside the mouth, you do have a red tongue, but again, it's as basic as it can possibly get due to the fact that this is just kind of a throwback to those old school vintage glow-in-the-dark dinosaur figures. And again, it looks picture perfect as far as that goes, but it's also a really cool version of the Zuni Ceratops. As far as articulation goes, it's your standard articulation. Even on the glow-in-the-dark versions, we have the articulation in the jaw, as well as two areas in the neck, so right here and right here, which allows you to have some really nice posability in the head and neck area of your Zuni Ceratops, and you can see you can create all kinds of poses with that aspect. You also have articulation right here in the shoulder area, as well as the elbow right there, and the wrist, the wrist can swivel, it can also move down and up. Then we have articulation in the midsection of our dinosaur, as well as both the hip area, the knee, which is really smooth actually on this one, and then we have two areas in the ankle area, so you can see you can move it forward and back, I don't want to force it too much, but it seems like it's moving pretty good, and then you can also see a swivel right there, which can also move the ankle up and down, and then you have the tail articulation, which can go up, down, left, right, and swivel, of course. So you've got lots and lots of articulation with your glow-in-the-dark Zuni Ceratops figure. As far as a size goes, it's exactly the same as the initial release, but we will measure it again anyway. So you're looking at right around the eight and a half inch range or about 21 and a half centimeters. And then for a height, a little under three and a half inches or nine centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Creative Beast Studio, Beast of the Mesozoic, Glow in the Dark Zuni Ceratops. And you can see, again, a pretty good idea of the size of the figure overall. It's definitely the smallest of all of the Ceratopsian series figures. And for another comparison that I'm sure you're interested in seeing, here is the Wave 1 fully painted Zuni Ceratops in comparison to our Wave 2, Glow in the dark Zuni Ceratops, and you can see how cool they look in comparison to each other. Again, if you really want the, you know, more detailed paint work on your figure, you can of course go for the initial one. If you want the more fun, as far as a glow in the dark version, you can go for the second, or you can be like me and get both. Either way, it's a win win. And now for the fun part, we are going to check out the glow in the dark feature of this figure. And look at that. How awesome is that that is just the coolest thing and man it glows so nicely it even highlights the kind of uh area it's standing on like that is some impressive glow in the dark action that we see before us and it just looks off the charts beautiful overall again david silva never ceases to amaze me with not only his regular ceratopsian series but coming up with really cool ideas like this and perfectly creating them this is yet another incredible release from the Ceratopsian series. So this Beast of the Mesozoic Wave 2 Ceratopsian series Glow in the Dark Zuni Ceratops is another really 
awesome figure. Again, I love the fact that David Silva has actually gone old school on us here and come up with the glow-in-the-dark dinosaur idea, but applied it to a really beautiful, very realistic, and highly detailed sculpt. It's not something that I personally ever thought we would see, and at the same time, I'm really happy that we have seen it because it's such a cool idea that nobody else, as far as I can recall, has actually pulled off and David has done it perfectly here, on top of, of course, giving us this incredibly highly detailed and gorgeous Zuni Ceratops, a species of Ceratopsian that has had very few releases over the years. In fact, I can't even think of any besides the Beasts of the Mesozoic line, but it's also awesome to have it on an articulated figure as well, because the Beasts of the Mesozoic figures are incredibly highly articulated, so you can pull off some incredible poses and display options for your figure. And if all of that isn't cool enough, you also have the fact that the figure glows in the dark. So if, again, you're my age or close to it, like your 30s, you're probably going to love this because it's such a perfect throwback to my childhood. So it's probably a pretty good throwback to yours as well. If you are a fan of dinosaurs and grew up loving dinosaurs, you most definitely had those really cool glow-in-the-dark figures. And I can guarantee you none of them looked even close to as beautiful Beautiful is this, but again, it's still so nostalgic and really takes me back to my childhood, so it's something that I will definitely proudly enter into my collection. So if you are interested in picking this up, make sure you check the description as I will have a link right there for you to head on over to the Creative Beast Studio website where you can purchase yourself an incredibly awesome glow-in-the-dark Zuni Ceratops, or you can also purchase yourself the orange version from ToyPizza.com as well. So make sure you do all of that, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.